Well, October is here, and with it comes a whole lot of pink. It's Breast Cancer Awareness Month, so we sat down with Genesis Health System to chat about the importance of mammograms and when you should be getting screened. We are joined now by Dr. Fain with Genesis. Thank you so much for being here with us. Thank you for having me. All right, it seems like a pretty obvious question, but why don't we start with this? I mean, what is a mammogram for people that have never gotten it? What's the experience like? So a mammogram is a type of test used to find breast cancer and other non-cancer um, abnormalities in the breast. Um, it's actually a type of x-ray. They take a couple of minutes to do in the office. Um, and all, you'll hear this term 3D mammogram. That is the standard of care. That's all the types of mammograms we do at Genesis are 3D. And that's the most accurate check for breast cancer. So how critical is it to get these mammograms. You know, you see everybody wearing pink in October, you hear about it all the time, you see the ribbons, but really truly it, it can take a lot of time and effort to get in and schedule an appointment, but why is it so important to do that? Good question. So basically about one in every eight women will have a diagnosis of breast cancer at some point in their lives. And mammograms are the only tests that have actually been shown to reduce your risk of dying from breast cancer. And that's because the mammograms can find the cancers when they're at their earliest, smallest stages, sometimes before a woman can even feel a lump. And that's when they're at their most treatable. So your odds of surviving breast cancer, if you've been getting your mammograms are way higher as well. So is this something you should be doing once a year? And, and what age should you start thinking about this? Yeah, so we recommend that everyone start screening at about the age of 40. So a mammogram every year starting at age 40 and going on until, you know, so long as you remain in good health. Um, there are some women, though, that are at a higher risk for breast cancer. Usually they have a family history of breast cancer. And a lot of those women might need to start screening even earlier than 40, sometimes by 30. So my recommendation is every woman have a conversation with her primary care doctor to find out exactly what her risk is. And that way she can have a plan for screening going forward. Um, at Genesis, we also have what's called a high-risk screening program, where you get a specialized breast exam by a high-risk breast cancer expert, and you might get additional screening like a once-a-year MRI as well. In the Quad Cities specifically, if you can speak to that, what are you seeing? What are the trends? Are pe more people coming in? So in general, in the last few years, and this is countrywide as well, we have found that the rates of breast cancer are actually sort of creeping up every year. It's not a huge percent. It's about half a percent every year, but they are going slightly up. Um, what's worrisome to us as doctors, though, is that the rates are going up faster in women in their 40s, the 40s to 50s decade, the number of cancers we're seeing are going up. So that just kind of underlines for us how crucial it is to start screening at age 40. Always best to catch everything as soon as you can. Dr. Fain, thank you so much for joining us here today. Thank you for having me. Now, Dr. Fain also says certain populations are more likely to have breast cancer, such as those with dense breasts or people with a family history of the disease.